We call the press conference today because it looks pretty certain that there'll be a, a strike against Sutter Healthcare beginning October the 10th and, and October the 11th, starting at 7 a.m. in the morning. It's very disconcerting. We were hoping that this strike would be avoided. Sutter plans on disrupting patient care beyond these two days by prolonging this and bringing in replacement nurses who they're treating quite favorably, I must say, across this country with these enormous packages. Um, and, and it's really disheartening for the nurses in Sutter that Sutter would actually respect nurses who don't work for them far more than they do their own nurses. We have been fighting with Sutter over their hospital closures and the effect that that will have on patients for a very long time. We've fought with them on St. Luke's. We fight, we're fighting with them um, up in Santa Rosa. We're, we're fighting with them in San Leandro. That's the health of the patients in our communities that will suffer. That means that patients who don't have as much money won't have care. That's what it means. What, what Sutter wants to do is to essentially cherry pick the healthy and wealthiest people because that's where the profit centers are. And that's what these hospital closures are about. If you're, if you're not wealthy, you're not welcome. And that's outrageous in our society. That's outrageous in the United States of America. The spokesperson for CPMC made references to the master plan. I've been privy to the master plan because they, they presented it to us at the bargaining table. They have, there has been denial of the closure, or as they like to call it, the change of operations as an acute care hospital. However, the master plan does dictate, the, um, spoken from the words of the gentleman who presented it, that the master plan for St. Luke's would be a full spectrum of ambulatory services, consistent with the community need. I believe the community needs an acute care hospital, not an As a cancer nurse, where I'm most comfortable is at the bedside with my patients. But as nurses, we've been bargaining since, um, since May and have tried everything that we can think of, really exhausted the bargaining process to try to get Sutter to change this tune at the bargaining table and, and actually give us what nurses and patients and communities need. We believe that their approach at the bargaining table jeopardizes patients, it jeopardizes nurses and their families, and it jeopardizes communities. This will be the largest strike in California probably in a decade. It's maybe the largest strike in the nation of registered nurses. And it's pretty serious, and the nurses are very serious, and it's really regretful that it's come to this.